all of the charges uh, that the civilian courts convicted those defendants on are based on the defendants' activities in, in connection with a coalition for a republic. In other words, the charges are based on the defendants advocating for the establishment of a republic. The court made no findings that any defendant was involved in any way in any violence. So, at, in, in essence, the charges are all related to speech activities, advocacy activities, peaceful assembly activities. That's not the legitimate basis for a criminal conviction. In both the military court and the civilian court, the charges are based on the defendant's advocacy for the establishment of a republic. Certain charges were dropped, uh, certain charges were not pursued in the civilian court, but at the end of the day, the essence of the activities that the defendant's convictions were based on are the same. The court's verdict does not describe the defendants as having been directly or indirectly involved in any violence. Rather, it talks about the defendant's activities in demonstrating, in calling for the establishment of a republic, and engaging in other uh, exercises of free speech. Uh, Joshua Colangelo, I'm a consultant with Human Rights Watch.